Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I'm going to start a small series, and I don't even know how long the series is going to be, but the main series is going to be about uh, watching me edit. Um, so maybe you guys can pick up some stuff, maybe you guys see some stuff I do that I can do better. Um, I'm not an expert editor, um, but I, I do enjoy editing. So this is day 30 of the uh, 21 or 31 day photo challenge of December. Uh, I shot this outside. It was uh, we just gotten some snow, and there's a Coors Light, an empty Coors Light bottle sitting on my uh, backyard table, and I thought, wow, this is kind of a cool, cool look. Let me snap a shot or two of it, and they came out pretty good. So mainly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this uh, photo, and maybe you guys can take away some stuff from it. I'm going to kind of walk you through what I'm doing. Um, so the first thing I noticed that I don't like about the shot is I've got. Over here in the upper left part of the photo, I've got what's uh, one of those beer buckets, and I don't really want that in the shot, so I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to take her on out. Uh, I don't always suggest um, cropping, but sometimes you need to. That was a for instance that so I needed to. Now, um, I like to play around with some of these settings. Most everything I do is from really from exposure on down to saturation is where I do most of my basic work before I send it over to Photoshop to do the finalized work. Um, the colors are pretty good. If you want to mess with your color temperature, you know, um, you can do that here. You could really do some crazy stuff with the color temperature, but uh, not what I'm wanting. So um, I just reset it. So let me recrop this. Um, you can do fill light if you wanted to add a little bit of light in here, but again, it's got more than enough light might bring the blacks in just a tad bit you could do the recovery I don't really like what the recovery looks like um, so I'm gonna do maybe I'm gonna kinda let it be a little bit blown out I like this white blown outness uh, clarity you can make the clarity pop right there um, which actually doesn't look bad we're gonna bring it down just a tad bit um, but I'm gonna do a, a smart sharpen um, in uh, Photoshop so I don't really want to use the clarity because it's kinda like the smart sharp and then you have your vibrance and saturation which probably neither of them need to be brought up so most of the stuff I'm gonna do is actually going to be in Photoshop uh, because everything I want here in Lightroom I'm really not gonna use too much just a little bit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click edit in Photoshop Christmas uh, Christmas night, my dad and his girlfriend, <laughs> they were having some fun. Alright, so this is where I'm at, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a layer. Um, first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm probably going to go on and sharpen it up to see where I want my sharpening at. So smart sharpen down here, and that that's just way too much. So we're going to bring the amount down quite a bit. We want to sharpen it up, but not too much. We don't want to look make it look. And that doesn't look bad, so... It's a little bit of sharp. I might have over sharpened it. We'll see how it looks. No, that for the most part that looks pretty good. So I still don't have my lighting down just the way I want to. Um, I have brightness and levels. Uh, I could jump into levels here. See if I want to darken her up just a tad bit. And uh, let's see here. Image and maybe we'll do a little bit of brightness and contrast. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. Um, so now what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add in a kind of a vignette. So we're going to make another layer. We're going to go to Edit, Fill, Black. So now it's going to throw that in there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. And bring it all the way across. I'm going to use my see here my elliptical marquee tool now I'm gonna hold down alt and I'm gonna hit uh, let's see what it's called here so you guys actually have a name to work with here uh, the add layer mask so I'm gonna hit alt or alt or option and then it's going to really just focus on this it's gonna bring this out now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into filter blur Gaussian blur and see how much of the of the uh, of the Gaussian mainly how much of the vignette I'm gonna want here so 
Um, if I do it like up here, you've got these sharp edges. It doesn't look good, you know. But I just I want to really make this Coors Light bottle pop. I want that to be your main focus point. So we're going to bring it up pretty high, and it doesn't look as bad. Okay, then we're going to click OK, and then we're going to probably bring the opacity down a tad bit, maybe down to. And there you go. Okay, so that's my edited picture. There's one more thing I want to change. I'm going to grab my quick selection tool, and I just want to turn this to be a little bit more blue. Um, if you guys know, Coors Light has this cold or super cold thing. So uh, I decided to make this look a little bit more super cold. It was really super cold outside when taking the shot. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to go into Layer, Flatten Image. So I'm going to flatten the image. I'm going to go into Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. And then we're just going to bring the blues in that specific part. Make it a little bit bluer. Control D, which will deselect. And as you can see, it's super cold now, and it looks a little bit nicer. So that is, uh, my, I guess, my first video on basic edits. Uh, if you guys got any questions or uh, anything like that, leave me a message, shoot me a comment. Be more than happy to help out with anything. I uh, hope you guys learned a little bit from this. So now I just go save this into my specific folder that I've set up for it. And it would be under edited, and these are all my edited photos for the 31 day photo challenge. I would save it. Let's see here. Max, and now it's saved. So hopefully this helped you guys out as well in the upper right corner. Check it out. There'll be a link to my or to my workflow for editing. So if you guys would like to see what my workflow is, I kind of showed you the basics of my workflow just there um, in this video. So if you'd like to know in more depth my workflow, uh, click on that link up there in your right in the corner, right corner, and uh, hopefully it will help you out. You guys have a great day. Check us out on Twitter at Media Unlocked and Facebook at David D Images. All the information you'll need will be down in the description bar.